Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video here on FBL Now. Today we're going to be going over my final team selection for Double Game Week 37 and any transfers that I'm thinking of making as well. So if you're excited for the video, drop a like down below, leave a comment. What players are you thinking of bringing into the big Double Game Week 37? Subscribe if you're brand new and let's get into the video. So starting things off, a quick recap of Double Game Week 36. Started off so well, ended in tragedy. Uh, a pretty decent red arrow to be fair, up to 31k. Uh, Wilson just absolutely destroyed me to fair. Not having Trent either really, really hurt. So yeah, fair play to Wilson captainers. Uh, he just made the risky call and it paid off heavily. I think there was like a 30 odd point swing. Uh, I finished on 93 points, uh, 1.3 mil rank. Uh, yeah, Rea got 7, Estepinion got 17, didn't even turn up for the second game, <laughs> he literally just got the 17 point haul. Fair play though, can't really go mon uh, can't really go mad at him because, you know, 17 points is ridiculous. Trippier getting 11, he was do a haul and he did get a big fat um, 11, bomb over, uh, 11 bomb over the course of the double. Again, could have had a clean sheet, but, you know, it was a really good Brighton goal to be fair. Botman getting 3, uh, Shaw getting 8, really helping me out. McAllister, pff, dude, McAllister such an annoying transfer. I brought him in this week and uh, may as well have not done it to be fair. Like honestly, like he just got three points, got benched, and then picked up a yellow card, so it didn't even give me like a pity point. So yeah, that was really unfortunate. Fernandez getting six, Matoma getting uh, five, Salah getting twelve, Haaland getting seven, and then of course Isaac captain bringing home fourteen points. Pretty disastrous, really. Didn't go well at all. In fact, everything kind of just went wrong. To be fair, from six players in that Brighton Newcastle game the only one that really did anything was Trippier and that's kind of tragic really out of all of those players that I had uh, and then on the bench obviously Kepa got zero Rashford got uh, zero Henry got six and then Greenwood got one so that was my game week 36 I'd like to leave that one in the past though and uh, moving on this is my current team for double game week 37 Trippier now also flagged as well it's not the worst thing in the world because I can just bench either Trippier or Isaac depending on which player I bring in but yeah, I've got Kepper in goal, which again, I'm not feeling super confident about. But the only other goalkeeper that I would really bring in is De Gea. Because Edison, I'm not really convinced that he plays the rest of the season. Or like all three of the games. You know, he could easily get benched after the Chelsea game. If they win that, he could easily get benched against Bryson. We saw him get benched earlier on in the season. Uh, I can't bring in De Gea because I already have three United players. And, uh, you know, Steele, I've already got three Brighton players. Um... And there's not really anybody else that I would rather really bring in. So that's kind of the situation there. I'm kind of just stuck with Kepa. Um, and I don't, like I said, there's not really anyone else I bring in for him. So I'm just going to hope that uh, Edison, uh, Edison, that uh, Kepa is back. You know, there is a couple of maybe rumors, reports that Mendy played just to get his like price tag up as well or something that they want to sell him. Kepa's not done anything wrong. Like he's literally not. He's actually played really, really well. So I don't know why he got benched again. Mendy made a pretty big mistake against Forrest, so hopefully that is in Kepa's favour as well. Also, Lampard did say that he played in for that game. He didn't really say, you know, he's he's the new number one. We'll have to wait and see in the press conference. Maybe he comes out and says Mendy's our number one or Kepa will be back. I really hope that someone asks about it because that's going to really decide my transfers this week as well because I don't really want to have just Raya against Spurs. That wouldn't be good at all. But uh, yeah, at this point in time, I've got Kepa in goal who's got City and United away. It's not even a good double game week. I'm just hoping for save points really uh, for him. At the back, we've got Estepinion who's got Southampton at home and City at home. I need my Brighton boys to go big in that Southampton game. Uh, I've got Trippier who's got Leicester at home but of course is flagged and I've got Shaw who's got Bournemouth away and Chelsea at home in midfield we've got Rashford who's got Bournemouth away and Chelsea at home and dude this it just get it just goes from bad to worse really because Rashford obviously got flagged he missed the last game uh he then has been training all week we saw the training photos and I was like okay sweet I don't have to worry about that and now it's been reported that he's ill so he's going to have to, like, they're going to see what he's like tomorrow. It's just it's so annoying. It just can't. And it's not even the worst thing in the world because everyone owns him. But it's just a transfer that I don't really want to get rid of. Like, I don't want to get rid of Rashford because if he is fit for that Bournemouth game and the Chelsea game, like, that's two good fixtures for United. And they need to win because, you know, the, the, the race for the top four is actually, like, really close this season. So if he's okay, even if he's, like, 75%, you'd like to think that he would play. Um, I mean, obviously, I could get rid of him for Mares because obviously Mares is a really good option. I do really want to bring in Mares this week, but there's just not like who do I get rid of? So unless you know we get early team news or whatever reason, and Rashford doesn't play, maybe I'll go to Mares, but it is very very unlikely. And then I've got McAllister, Mac Zero instead of Mac Ten, getting Southampton at home and City at home. Fernandez, who's got Bournemouth away and Chelsea at home. Like Fernandez is literally like the player this week. If he goes big, 
that's going to be the make or break game week uh, for the game week. Got Matoma, who's got Southampton at home, City at home. Again, we may even get comments that Matoma is tired again. And if that's the case, I may just take a minus four, get rid of Matoma for uh, Mares, and then bring in Steel for like Kepa or Rea or something like that and just take a minus four. That could be something I do. But again, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. And then I've got Salah, who's got Villa at home. I can't get rid of Salah. He's just in too good form at the moment. And then up top, we've got Haaland, Captain C, who's got Chelsea at home and Brighton away. And then I've also got Isaac at home, Leicester. So the, the situation is, I, I do want to get 10K this season. And I feel like if I want to do that, then maybe Fernandez Captain C is, is kind of the way. And that it's so risky because obviously Haaland could just go big against Chelsea. He definitely could. And if they do win that, does Haaland then get benched against Brighton? Whereas Fernandez, he's going to play 180 minutes. He's on penalties. And, you know, his, his, there's not many players this season that have created more chances than him. And, like, he's got such good expected assists. Um, and he's just doing a massive haul. And it could easily be in one of these games. I don't know if I've got the balls to do it because Haaland could just destroy me. And that's just something I'm really, really worried about. But uh, yeah, I think I think if I did want to go for a differential this week, you know, if I was chasing like mini leagues and stuff and I had Bruno and I did have Haaland, Bruno does kind of come into the conversation a little bit. But if I do that, my 31K could easily become like 61K. It's just such a risky situation to be in. Uh, and anyway, on the bench, we've got Ray, who's got Spurs away, Botman, who's got Leicester at home, Henry, who's got Spurs away, and then Greenwood, who's got West Ham away. So that's how my team's looking. Let's go into my transfers. Of course, I've only got one free transfer in the bank with four mil as well. Uh, there's a couple of things that I could do this week. Obviously, I could get rid of Greenwood, uh, Greenwood and bring in Alvarez uh, and, and just play like uh, Shaw, Estepinion, and just hope the Trippier is good. Um, but I, I'm probably not going to do that. Alvarez could also come in for Izak as well. Um, which, again, is an option, but I, I don't know. It's very, very risky. I, I need my transfer to be on someone that I think is definitely going to play 180 minutes this week. And there's not really anyone I can bring in that I think is definitely going to play 180 minutes this week. I think minutes-wise for City attackers, I think Mares is the best for expected minutes. But obviously, who do I get rid of for Mares? That's the, that's the only situation there. So, again, if we get Brighton comments, you know, or early team news that Matoma's out or whatever for fitness then you know i may bring in mares and, and steel and just go that route because uh, it's a little bit more safe although steel has just conceded four goals again so maybe he even gets dropped that would be the worst thing if i did that um another route that i could take is just to get rid of henry uh for uh diaz i i think diaz is most likely to play both it's just so risky because you know that they've obviously got other center backs that could play there i just i don't know like he, he obviously missed the uh the Leeds game but apart from that like he's he's literally played every single game so I just I feel like he's just the player to go for I don't know but then you know he's six mil and if it goes wrong like that's just a double game we play that I've lost I mean I, I the thing is I could go to Trent as well like but I, I don't think it's worth it really I think I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and not have Trent this week Trent's been hurting me every single week to be fair and I do want him in my team so much but I'm just gonna have him in for my last game game week really when they've got Southampton away so yeah the other option is just to bring Diaz in this week and just play Diaz, Shaw, Estepinion and Kepa the five midfielders and then play Haaland and Izak however though Izak was very very left uh like very very much on the left wing and wasn't really getting into any kind of situations or anything where he was even capable of scoring so I think if Trippier is fit I'd probably just do 4-5-1 I don't know if I want to play Izak really it's, it's just been a bit of a nightmare transfer bringing him in to be fair I wasn't really uh, happy about bringing him in in the slightest. He matched Kane, uh, who I got rid of this week for him. To me, it was just a bad, it's just too really bad transfers. I got rid of March and Kane for Isaac and McAllister. And yeah, it's just kind of blown back in my face, really. It's not been too good at all. Again, if Wilson gets benched, then obviously Isaac looks a lot better. But I don't, I don't think Wilson's getting benched now. He's just in too good form. He's, so I think Wilson uh, buyers are just in dreamland, really. So yeah, I, I think potentially, but barring any other updates and stuff, it is going to be. Uh, Diaz in for Henry, but again, it could also be Mares in for Rashford. If Rashford's just out, we get early team news and then bring in like Steel or something. Um, no, I can't even do that. I mean, uh, Mares. Yeah, I, I've, I've just completely been wrong about everything. I can't even do that, can I? Um, yeah, I don't know. It may have to be Edison or something. I, I don't know. I'm just all over the place. I might, I'm just probably going to bring Diaz in, to be fair, because yeah, I can't even bring Steel. I'd have to get rid of Matoma and that'd be a minus eight. It's not going to happen. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just it's just all all over the place. I feel like I mean I'm in such a corner now where every transfer is just so vital. But 
could be wrong. I don't know. Stones, I feel like, is more exciting, but again, easily could be benched as well. Because some of the positions that Stones... I, I watched the Real Madrid game, and Stones was pushing so forward. And I just think he's... He could just be an option, you know. And look, he hasn't played the last two league games. That's fair enough. But he could be a bit of an option. I don't know. It's Diaz is just better for expected minutes, but I think Stones is a lot more explosive. So, I don't know. I could go Stones and just hope for the best, but we'll have to see what happens. But... As of right now, it's going to be Henry out for Diaz, but that could easily change. Anyway, that's going to be everything from me. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're brand new. It's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.